What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I wanna to talk about reports. Um, the beauty of VIP Shop Management is all your reports, all your reports are protected with a passcode. Um, up here, just click on the arrow that's going down and then up next to the gear, just click on that and then you will need your passcode, type in your passcode. And then here's your reports. It's gonna start from your daily. The first thing I wanna cover is your daily reports. And we're gonna click on that. And the beauty of this, I think we're the only one that have this type of report. It's gonna show all your invoices uh, for this uh, for this day. It's so it's always gonna take you to the today's date. So if I click on daily report, it's gonna show today is Saturday, January second. I had 14 customers all the way up top right here, and my today of sales is 3,257. And it's gonna break those sales down into cash, credit and check and it's going to show me all the invoices right here even by time and by an invoice number and by a service writer um, i can always click and view any of these invoices and come back and even go next and previous so it's really beautiful to check out all these um right up top on the side it's going to show you your parts cost for that day your parts sell your profit and it's detail all the way to your taxes so the daily report, um, if I want to see the day before, it's really simple. Just click on previous up here and then next. So you have previous and next. If I want to see any custom date, I just go to that date. Just click on the button right here. And I want to go on December 15th. See what I did. So that's the beauty of that. Um, you can print it. Uh, you can see, let's go back to, you can see your transactions for that date. So let me go back. And you can see your daily, weekly report, monthly report, yearly report, all in one right here. Let's go back to the daily report, gonna take this that day. If I click on the button right here, transactions, detail, it's gonna show me all the transactions for that day, including paid like fully paid invoices or partially paid invoices. All the transactions gonna be right here. Um, uh, if I wanna see the monthly report, I just click on monthly report and switches to monthly. And this is how much for January 2021. If I click on previous, um, it's going to make take me December um, 20, 2020. I just keep going. November, October, September. So that's beautiful. So you can go through the months and see. Uh, it's going to give you everything on that month, how much you made on parts for each month. So if I go back to December, and my profit on uh, on on December is ten thousand dollar and five hundred. On the tires, that's how much. So it's really it breaks it down so quickly, so easily. If I want to see the yearly report, I could. I just click on yearly report, and I can see all the invoices for that year, which is beautiful. And nine hundred and twenty-one thousand. It breaks in cash, credit, and check. And I can go back to the previous year too. That's even more. So you just, you know, it takes a little bit second because you're going to go through all the invoices and you can compare the year. So that's the daily report. The daily report, even so, it's called daily and weekly report. It's it's actually monthly report and yearly reports. So they're all in one. Uh, the next to it right here, it's monthly report. Monthly report is just a quick uh, comparison between uh, uh, this month and the previous month. That's really important. You got to be coming a lot here. So if I click on it, Obviously, this is the only month in 2021. If I click on the previous year, see, it's going to show me the difference between each each month, like how much I'm making money, uh, December, August, and uh, all this. So you can compare, make sure you're on the track. Uh, you don't want to make you, you don't want to be going down. You're supposed to be going up. So you can compare each year and see how much you're making money between each month and each year. Um, the next to it, general inventory and tire, tires inventory, I'm not going to talk about that, it's going to have their own video. Um, let's go to fees. If I click on fees, I can track all those fees that I, that I add. So I can track the smog check, uh, the emission test, the safety inspection, the credit card fee, and the tires fee. Um, the beauty of it is just yeah, I can select the date range from, when to, from start to finish to get the total. So if I... Let's say if I want to track the credit card fees, $26 for January already. That's how much I made money. So that's that fees right here. Um, let's talk about sales tax, which is really important. 
uh, sales tax reports again uh, you know anytime you click on it it's going to select that month for you so in this case it's selecting uh, january for me but if i want to select december for example the last year i'm um, just you know go back to december from the first and to what date you want it to the 31st and it's going to tell you your sales tax it's going to give you uh, the sales tax broken down actually in, in details from parts, tires, labor, sublet, fees, EPA, and shop supplies. Um, uh, non-taxable, it's going to give you the non-taxable right here. It's going to give you the taxable here. And it's going to give you the total. If you have uh, additional taxes, it's going to be broken down. If you only have one tax, it's going to be right here, R1, which is $2,040. That was for December. You can print that, no problem. I didn't mention on daily reports, you have two options. You can print whatever you see. Um, uh, you can print, I think up to monthly reports is gonna bring the, it's gonna print the invoices too. Um, when you switch to yearly report, um, it only print the summary. So you don't have to worry about it. Uh, so if I, if I print the, the yearly report uh, for 2020, I wish I, uh, I, I cannot show it. That's all right. But anyway, it all, it's going to show if you print the yearly report, it's not going to print all your invoices because otherwise it's going to be so many papers. It's going to print the, print the summary, uh, including January, February, all in this to December, broken down between uh, uh, parts, costs, and all this. So that's which is really cool if you're filing for taxes. You have one more option. You can export all these invoices to an Excel file. And let's do this right now. Let's say I want to export. Uh, I want to export, let's say... Um, January 1st all the way to um, December December 31st if I want to export and give it to your uh, or even import it to QuickBooks you can do though and do so it's going to export all the invoices in one Excel file you can give it to your accountant or you can uh, import it to uh, to QuickBooks I haven't integrated to QuickBooks. Um, and, uh, there are competitors at the same time, and so I haven't figured that out yet. But it will take probably a minute. It depends how fast your computer is. And now I'm running on the cloud, so it probably is going to take a little bit longer. That's not bad, actually. That's probably 30 seconds will take. And then you just to click on take me there, it's gonna take you there to that year. And uh, that's how it's gonna look like. So this is all your invoices created, closed all the way to all the details, the balance due, even the status, whether if it was paid or, or refunded, it's gonna show all this right here. Um, what else I wanna cover on reports? Let's go back. So you get sales tag, your purchase orders, um, so all the vendors right here is going to be right here. You can see all the purchase orders. If you use an online ordering, um, I want to talk about, let me cover this before I come back here. Um, so let's go back here. So when you place an order from AutoZone or O'Reilly or whatever, you have something called purchase order all the way up top. When you place automatic, uh, when you place order through VIP shop management, it's going to add the purchase order automatically, but you still can add it manually. If I bought, let's say, um, I bought an alternator for this car and I want to add the purchase order. I got it from AutoZone, right? And I want to add the purchase order. I just click on add purchase order, add manually, and just select your vendor. And let's say AutoZone, the purchase order number, add that, the quantity, let's say it was one. Uh, the total of that purchase order was 205.95. You can select the date and time too. And that's how you add a purchase order manually. Uh, like I said, if you use an online ordering, it will add it automatically. So let's go back and uh, to our reports. Type in our passcode and type go to purchase order. So if if I go to AutoZone right now, oh yeah, I think it's only will only show it if it's um, if it's fully paid. Let me see. Uh, purchase order, yep, so let's fully pay it. And let's go back to purchase order. 
so it's right there so it's gonna show all your purchase orders right here by by vendors whatever vendors you have it's gonna add them automatically and you can see the date and it's gonna give you the total of purchase orders for each vendor um subcontract which is sublet the same thing you can see who how like how much uh let me see if i can select somebody I don't think I have anybody for sublet, but again, same. It's the same concept. Um, what else I want to talk about? Analysis. This is your analysis right here. You can you can track certain stuff. Let's say all change one. You can track it. I don't know if I have anybody. I, I think I just added tires. But it tracks it. It tells you exactly how much. Um, I don't think I have anything I have, like towing for example it's gonna tell you how much and it, it compares it to the previous year so which is really cool um manage uh, manage users and tax I'll talk about late, that later and tires and all that and restore database we'll talk about that later anyway that's it for today I appreciate you guys watching until next time thanks for watching